All right, guys. I had quite a few people recommend this one. Ready for you by Ren. I'm very interested, so I'm just going to hop right into it. Here we go. Standing on these stones, I'll plant these aching bones down. King without a throne, now waves are crashing out. I'm scrolling through my phone. There's no Dude, Ren's got Ren is his poetry is really beautiful at times. Um, and sometimes, like with the Sick Boy album in general, it, it's like sometimes the beat takes away from really recognizing how good he is at um writing poetry. But l let's get right into it. Phone now waves are crashing out. I'm scrolling through my phone There's no one I can call now I guess I'm all alone How did that end up here? Now pull yourself together boy Reconstruct like Lego toys These thoughts you have could soon destroy The progress you have made It's pulling down like gravity Hang on man I struggle with that a lot Um so he's got he's kind of doing a similar thing to well so far in this he's kind of doing the similar thing to high ren where um he's got the two different voices and the um pull yourself up voice you know the more positive voice and in, in um that voice is basically saying like hey man these thoughts that you're having if you entertain this it's going to destroy the progress you've made to get better and i i deal with that on a daily daily uh basis and a lot of us do so I just wanted to comment on that real quick. I could soon destroy the progress you have made. It's pulling down like gravity, emotional brutality. Just know the clock is ticking and nothing stays the same. I'm back up off the floor, cause I know that I got more in myself around two. In my boat without an oar, I still find my way to shore in this ocean blue. I know you feel it, I know you feel it, know you feel it, cause I can see it now, and now I'm back up off the floor, cause I know that I want more, and I'm ready for you. Man. I just have to say, like, um, I heard someone say once, um, the most important conversations you have are going to be with yourself, not with other people, with yourself. And um, understanding how to talk to yourself and how, how to have a conversation and how to compartmentalize your thoughts and your, and your beliefs um, is, is a huge key to success, in my opinion. Um, for me, it's, it's taken a lot. I know Ren's had to deal with some trauma. I've had to also deal with some trauma. Um, having this conversation with yourself is incredibly difficult to say, you know what? I feel beaten down. You know, he said my bones, a body that aches, uh, you know, I, I sit those bones down, I you know, there's no throne for a king. Um, and then the, the other voice comes along. He's like, you got to pick yourself up. Like you don't want to undo the progress. And, um, it's a constant battle. That's, that's the trick guys. It's not, you don't turn the key and then everything's good for the rest of your life. It's not real. It doesn't exist. It doesn't happen. It's constant battling with yourself and, and understanding how to talk to yourself. And so, um, I won't bang on too much about it guys, but, um, this definitely hits home for me. Um, it's a big struggle, man, especially when things are going well and then boom, something bad happens or something bad happens and then another thing and another thing and another thing and you're so lost, you don't even remember how you got there. That's when it's difficult to get yourself out of that situation. But but having being able to have those conversations and talk to yourself, the conversations you have with others, they matter to an extent. The conversations you have with yourself matter far more. So that's definitely worth investing time in. I'm sorry, guys. I, this is something I'm incredibly passionate about. Um, you know, I try I try not to bang on too much about some things on the channel, but this is something I'm incredibly passionate about is is um, learning how to talk to yourself and um, you know how to get yourself out of a of a bad mentality of of a negative uh, lethargical attitude. It's hard. <laughs> Yeah. 
You've unleashed a sleeping beast. beast. A mythical, biblical creature, a demon that's breathing. You best call a priest. Or exorcist, wretched this boy who is flexing his dark side. I can't find no peace. peace. Belongs in asylums, no man is an island, so I'm a whole planet that speaks. Peace. The speech of the pain is drumming like pain on my brain, and it's flooding the street. So nail me to this cross now. Crucify me, God. How am I meant to pray? If my hands are lay you down, I build my very own effigy that represents the pain. Wow. So if you caught that, he's saying he builds an effigy for himself to represent the pain, and then he burns the effigy to represent freeing himself from himself. Um, yeah, wow, man. Um, and there, you know, Ren was on the cross. You know, obviously, um, you know, G you know that that's a reference to Jesus Christ. Um you know, the, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to soak it all in, man. This is incredibly interesting. Um, I, I will say it, you know, Ren obviously understands pain. Like I can tell through his music. I can tell through these lyrics. I can tell through the way that he thinks he's experienced an incredible amount of pain in his life. And, you know, I, I don't know, some of it might've been psychological, but a lot of it was definitely physical with, um, you know, his, his undiagnosed Lyme disease, um, and, and just, all the stuff he had to go through to, to figure that out. And man, that's a story of a lot of people. Like, don't, don't look at just Ren and be like, oh yeah, this, this guy, you know, he's a hero. He can't, he overcame it. It's like, man, this is, this happens to a lot of people. They get kind of thrown to the wayside in the medical system and there's something that's wrong with them, but there's no, there's no doctor that sits down, takes the time and, and orders the millions of tests that might be needed to figure out what the problem is in order to really solve it. I'll shut up, guys, but let's keep going here. Vibrations move the speaker. Music, my Mona Lisa. I seek my refuge in a melody. Fix me up, my dealer. I breathe it like it's ether. I'll drink it by the liter. When half your life is spent with death, you do not fear the reaper. For the plight of humankind remains the same. The biggest war we ever waged was the war we wage upon our own brains. Dude, I, I could pause it, like every line and just talk about the thing the concepts he's talking about i won't i won't do it i won't do it again but again i mean with the death if you live every day with the reality of death once you get away from that you no longer fear it and hey man <laughs> i'll just say i get it let's keep going with death you do not fear the reaper for the plight of humankind remains the same the biggest war we ever waged was the war we wage upon our own brains. A story as old as time. All right, I, this is going to be one of those reactions, man. You know, if if you don't like the talking, I recommend a different channel. Spend your time how you how you see fit. Always. Um, the biggest war you it's okay. There's a there's a. A, a book by a guy named David Goggins and one of the beginning the one of the first things he says in the book is um you know it's it's to kind of try to help people who are in in really bad situations who've, who've had traumatic childhoods and just a traumatic life and there's there's something you know psychologically disturbed about them I fall into that category so I'm not trying to disparage anyone but it's a book and one of the first things he says is um you know now get yourself ready because you're about to go to war with yourself. And and my ability to even do this YouTube channel to, to just not even that, but just succeed in a job, succeed in a business. Um, to do that, I have to constantly, constantly be at war with myself because if I, if I just kind of let go, I don't know what's wrong with me. But if I just kind of let go and let go of the discipline, man... I, I can go back to where I originally was. It is possible. Um, so it's a constant battle of, of fighting my own um, negative instincts, my bad instincts, just, just my desire to let loose. I don't know what that is, guys. I'm not sure what's wrong with me, but I know I'm not alone. I know there are a lot of people who struggle with the same thing. And so for me, that self-discipline is huge. Um, wow, Ren, man. He, he like his his struggle that he went through with Lyme disease and all that pain and all that suffering obviously has given him an insight to an insight to um, 
the larger picture of life you know kind of a, a basic philosophy of like um how to rule your own brain and like what things you need to overcome and, and what are negative thoughts what are negative and then and then also how to you know just because you have a negative thought doesn't necessarily mean that thought defines you or that that thought is real that's another thing too is i have a lot of thoughts i have a lot of feelings and, and a lot of them you know it's like um you know just because you feel something doesn't necessarily mean it's true um man i feel like eating potato chips pizza ice cream never moving an inch and playing call of duty all day that's what i feel like doing i don't do that for a lot of reasons um but you know it, it's like you can't always trust necessarily what you feel um that doesn't mean screw your feelings I, i'm getting way off track here but um wow man ren does this to me how did i get here again how did i get here again man let's keep going i'll drink it by the liter when half your life is spent with death you do not fear the reaper for the plight of humankind remains the same the biggest war we ever wage was the war we wage upon our own brains. A story as old as time. Duality dwells inside our thoughts. While we yin yang, we will hang on the noose with no support. I'm back up off the floor, cause I know that I got more in myself around two. In my boat without an oar, I still find my way to shore in this ocean blue. I know you feel it, I know you feel it, know you feel it, cause I can see it now. And now I'm back up off the floor, cause I know that I got more, and I'm ready for you. Now, I don't know if he's referring to his fans there or what. Um, you know, I, I, I mean... I, I guess it could be, you know, the fans, he could be in a relationship with someone, but, um, wow. I mean, it really is the, the human struggle. Ren talks a lot about the duality and, and I find a lot of the best artists, uh, or maybe not the best, but my favorite artists certainly talk about duality and the internal struggle that they have. Um, cause that's what I relate to. I'm, I'm constantly having an internal struggle. I mean, I've got incredibly severe social anxiety that I've I've worked my way to be able to manage it to where I can literally get in front of a camera and a microphone and and broadcast my thoughts and believe me I get some negative comments that's fine um you know I I I'm learning to deal with it um it's just the same like I learned when I walk, walked into a grocery store it's like if somebody gives me a look maybe they're having a bad day like maybe I didn't do something wrong. You know, it's it all comes down to how you talk to yourself and how you um, explain what happens outside of your control. Like a lot of it just, it kind of happens and, and you've, I, I don't know how I got here, but point being, um, you know, I feel like I'm in a constant battle with myself, not just on the channel, but in work, life, um, relationship, in a, in a fathership role, like all of this. It's incredibly difficult, um, but I mean that's the that's the beauty of life and, and humanity is that you're always going to struggle. Like you might you might be able to get to a point where life is good for you, but you still have to push yourself. If you don't have those obstacles you used to have, you should put obstacles in front of yourself just so you can overcome them. Because life will hit you with some real shit at some point, and when it does, if you're not prepared for it. You're going to have a hard time. And I, I'm saying that from my own personal experience. So I'll wrap this one up, guys. I won't bang on too much. This isn't the commentary channel. But if you are interested in that, I only have one video up on that as of this date. But um, you guys take care. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people that listen to um, Ren seem to be pretty emotionally intelligent. Um, and I think that's one of the big things that draws people to Ren. Um, but I, I definitely encourage, um, there was a line in a song that said, I, I don't want people in my circle who are going to gas me up, meaning tell me what I want to hear. I want people in my circle who are going to, um, check me, meaning challenge me. And I do encourage, um, people challenging each other, not, not with the, you know, obviously if you're doing it with the intention of tearing them down, that's not what I'm talking about. But if you're challenging somebody, whether it's something they said or something they did or, or, or 
just the current state of, of what they're doing. Um, if, if someone doesn't receive a challenge they may just continue that same course it's like you you have the opportunity in challenging someone you have the opportunity to better their lives and they might hate you for it now that's a hard if you want people to like you it's very difficult to get to the point where you want to challenge people and disagree with them and especially nowadays it seems like whenever anyone disagrees with with another person, I'm speaking specifically in younger generations in the U.S. So I don't know what, what things are like wherever you, you guys are watching the video. But there's certainly, um, if even just disagreeing uh, with someone, it's like people are like, there's a, a it, it almost seems like they take it as a personal attack on their, on their, on their being. Like it's like you're attacking them as a human. It's like, well, disagreeing on something isn't an attack but once again i'm banging on like crazy here guys i'll wrap it up um but if you're if you're here at this point you know you probably were interested in it anyway anyway i'll wrap it up please leave comments guys like subscribe comment recommend videos i read all the comments um you know i'm recently stepping back from replying to them just because i've got priorities in my life that i have to deal with and it's it's impossible to respond to all the comments and so I, I really need to focus on what i need to focus on um but all the love is appreciated so you guys take care stay safe um wherever you're watching the video from thank you for watching